What's up, y'all? Behind the Build, episode 15, kicking it off with the final pour for the foundation of the million dollar pool. Let's hop right in. Here we are, up about 28 feet from the bottom of the ground. I can see downtown. This is why we're building this whole pool up so our clients can have a view of downtown and walk right out their main level into their pool. So what you're seeing right now, the guys down here, this is the platform that our catch basin is going to sit on. So what's gonna happen is you see those rebar dowels right there. We're doing that because our next wall for the pool, so when our pool contractors come out and form the shell of our pool, that wall is gonna come up to about this tall. And that is what's gonna overflow down into the catch basin. So then this is gonna be a U shape down here. And we have pipes, you see all the PVC. That's so all of this can continue to recirculate on our whole entire pool. So remember, I've talked multiple times about how perilous these forms are down here. We have the steel brackets to help us hold it up. But just as another measure of protection, the guys were pouring a little bit at a time. They wanted to make sure that all these forms were gonna hold, nothing was gonna spill out, and definitely nothing was gonna bust. And as you can see, we're damn near full here, and these held just like a charm. So absolutely amazing. We're out here in the Westlake Hills. And look at that beautiful view. You got green hills on this side. You got downtown over there. Now, this is the first time in this pour that we're really acting like this is a normal foundation. The only difference is we're 28 feet high when we're doing that. So as you can see, we have all of our grade beams. We've gone over this in multiple different videos. Normally, in a regular foundation, we would have plumbing for the house, but we have pool plumbing in this foundation. Some of it is drains, just as a failsafe in case the pool were to ever leak. Other parts are drains for the pool, pumps for the pool, recirculation, jets, lights, everything that we're gonna need. We've ran a bunch of conduits up in this foundation, and in the next stage, when we build our pool shell, we'll continue anything that we need to do. But this is an interesting detail. So if you look at that piece of wood, it's at a 45 on each side, so it's beveled. That is called a keyway. We've had multiple different keyways in this pour. So what happens is when we pour one layer of a foundation and then you have to do another one on top of it. So how this works is we're gonna pour our concrete right up to this keyway. Then after it dries, we pull out this piece of wood and then it's gonna have the release of that shape. So then when we put the shell on top of it, we have a mechanical joint so that nothing is gonna move. It's kind of like teeth that grab into each other. So just an interesting detail, something to be very sensitive about. This has to be at a perfect level all the way around. And obviously we can't mess it up during the pour. Okay, so all these pipes that you're seeing are a variety of pipes for returns, jets, and drains. And they're snaked through our whole foundation. So the guys, they come in here, they bag everything up, and then the plumbers have to come in. They have to destroy a lot of parts of those bags to run the pipes. 
and then we rebag it on top of that. So all of these areas that are higher, you have the relief in there for the grade beam. Remember in that hash mark pattern around the foundation, you build it up with sandbags to get those deep beams and that's gonna hold the structure. Like these beams around here make up the beams of our spa that comes up. And then there's always beams around the perimeter and then you have beams through it that just join it all together and add extra strength. After the plumbing's in and they've fixed all the bags, we put this plastic poly on because we don't ever want moisture coming up through the foundation. Then we put this rebar mat. This is called a rebar mat. So on the top, we call it a mat. And then inside the grade beams, there's these pieces called stirrups. And that is basically just brackets that hold the rebar inside of our grade beam. And then obviously all of this is per plan down to the size of rebar, how deep our grade beams are. We always want the rebar lifted off the foundation with bricks. Our engineers checked all of this out. We have an all clear, hence why we're pouring today. Okay, we talk about this a lot, electrical grounding. This copper wire right here runs all the way down 30 feet to the ground at every single corner. Anytime you pour a foundation, anytime you have rebar, it needs to be grounded. This is of paramount importance. You have to get this inspected before you can move on. So you need to make sure that your grounding is in and inspected before you pour. Because imagine if we pour all this, and we have to get ground wire, attach it to all of our rebar 30 feet down. We'd be in a world of... Now, why is it so important? This electrical grounding is most importantly a life safety issue. If this were to get struck by lightning, if one of our different machines or appliances malfunctioned, there is a ton of metal in this whole foundation. Someone could die. And then you're mixing water with the pool into that equation. So lightning, Electrical malfunctions also protecting all the appliances if there's a power surge. This nifty piece of machinery right here is absolutely vital. It vibrates. It's simply a massive vibrator attached to an air gun. So that vibrator goes down into the deep trench of the grade beams after the concrete's poured and it vibrates and gets all the air pockets out so all of our concrete settles nice and tight with no pockets of air. All right, so check out the layout of this pool. Where those boards are, that keyway that we talked about earlier, that's the spa. It is a massive spa. It holds about 18 people. So we put it in this far corner so it's kind of set away in the corner and you'll have this awesome view of downtown just chilling in the spa. The stairs will be right here behind me. Our clients want this to just be like a chilling wading pool. This is gonna just be a pool to hang out with. It's max four feet deep in the whole thing. They wanna be able to drink, hang out, not worrying about actual swimming. And then it's gonna be easier for elderly and children as well. The amazing thing about this pool is all along the spa, all along this edge, from the spa all the way around, and then the front corner. So both of these sides are all infinity edge. So when you're up here chilling in the pool, you're just gonna be looking out in the view, feeling like you're floating out into eternity.